In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a costing component to a production bill of materials and how the cost is calculated when a work order is closed and costed. In a production bombs, we have four different types of components. We have normal, which can be a raw material or a semi-finished goods that go into production and makes the final product. We have byproduct, which is unplanned or a secondary product that is not needed to produce the finished goods. We have text, which allows the addition of text to the work order. And finally, we have cost and component, which allows to link a managed or not managed in stock component for costing purposes only. This component will increase the cost of the finished product. This costing component is neither used in a work order nor in the tracking. However, the cost of the component will be added to the provisional work order cost calculation and the actual cost will be increased with the cost of this component. In common data, bombs, manufacturing bombs, I'm going to go ahead and add a second line. The component type is going to be costing. I'm going to enter a component and the linked quantity would be one. And then the valuation would be set to yes. So the cost can show up in the work order. Once that is done, I'm going to save, exit out of here. Then I'm going to go to the product and I want to examine the Y cost product. I made it as a not managed product. I created a product site for it. And I also created a standard cost record for it, which is $12 for the component. Once that is done, we're going to move and go create the work order. Before creating the work order, I'm going to go to the standard cost function and check the costs for the components and the finished goods. The site is an A012. And for the very first component, the standard cost, which was created, with the latest day is 0.94 for calculation quantity four. The cost and component I added is $12 and calculation quantity is one. And for the finished or semi-finished goods, The cost for it is 131, the total cost for calculation quantity of one. As you can see, this standard cost only has the component cost, the raw material. It does not have the costing component because I have not run the costing calculation on it with the Y cost. Once that is verified, I'm going to the work order function and I'm going to create a work order, which I already did for the semi-finished goods, SFI 007 with released quantity of one. Here is the component, as you can see, only I can see the managed stock, raw 008, the cost and component that is identified on the bomb will not show on the work order. Once the work order is created under provisional cost inquiry, as you can see, the material cost is 12.3796. The $12 is for the costing component, the 0.3796 is the cost of the raw material multiplied 
which it was like 0 .9, 0 0.094 multiplied by 4. Once that is done, I'm going to exit out of here and create a production tracking for this work order. Once the work order is created, the next thing I'm going to do is go to production tracking and create a tracking for the work order. I'm going to click new, enter the site, enter the work order number. I'm going to track the operation, production and material. I have three steps in the operation. I have one finished goods or semi-finished goods and I I'm going to use one compo for um, quantities uh, for the component. Notice that the costing component is not showing on the tracking either. Once that is created, I'm going to click create, or once that's entered, I'm going to click create. Then I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to go to work order close. I'm going to enter the site and the work order. Then click the close button. Yes uh, to the message. Close the work order. And then this is the production cost calculation. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes. Once that is clicked, the system will calculate the cost of the work order. Once the work order is closed and costed, the next thing I'm going to do is to go to whip cost inquiry and check the cost of the work order. I'm going to access the whip cost inquiry from the work order. Within the right panel, I'm going to click on the whip cost inquiry. As you can see, the tracking flag is closed and costed. For the material, the expected cost was 37 cent because that is coming from the standard cost for the finished goods. I have not rolled the costing component into the finished goods or the semi-finished goods. So the system expecting the cost to be 37 cent. However, the actual cost based on the calculation of the work order is 12 0.37, which includes the costing component, Y cost, plus the raw material, raw 008. However, notice there is a variance because the cost or the costing component was not rolled into the finished goods. Now, if I exit out of here, and if I go to the standard cost calculation, and if I make if I roll the cost again, once that is done, if I go back to the standard cost record and look up the SFI 007, for site and A012. Notice the very last record. Notice that now the 12 for the Y cost or the costing component has become uh, part of the component. So my component cost now is 12.37. So if I to process a new work order with this standard new standard cost record, I will not have a variance. The cost will be the same, but there, was, there will be no variance. The actual cost is going to be the same as the expected cost.